Hello, you're watching Ellie from Elementary Paper Crafting. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator here in the UK. I'm going to show you how I made this new card using stamping up products, um, several stamp sets and the dies. So let's get on and show you how I did this. I'm beginning by using Eden Gardens stamp set from Stamping Up and a sheet of basic white cardstock using the Misty Moonlight stamp pad. I'm going to stamp the main image from the set. I'm starting with full strength ink. I'm turning my stamp, stamping off for a second generation stamping and turning and stamping again. So I have three different shades of the same color. I'm taking Hydrangea Haven and using this small stamp at the bottom and again the misty moonlight. I'm going to stamp this close to the cluster of blooms to start filling out my image. I'm coming in now with balmy blue and I'm going to use the filler stamp for those little small flowers and fill them in with some colour. I want quite um, a very pale uh, palette today so I'm just using one dark colour of the Misty Moonlight and the rest are going to be lighter colours, balmy blue, etc. Now I'm taking Forever Fern and Smoky Slate and I'm bringing in this lovely um, multi-leaved bow and just trying to arrange this pleasingly. I'm trying to make two sort of art shapes on um, each side of the card. You'll see where this is going later. So I'm basically building up an image here using the leaves and I'm now bringing in tasteful touches and this little sprig of very small leaves. I'm using basic grey for this one. This is just an outline stamp, but because there are so many of the leaves on this little bow, it does fill in the space quite nicely. So I'm just bringing these in between the other images that I've stamped here and there, just filling in those gaps where I see I think I need them. So this is quite random stamping in a way, but I do kind of know where I'm going with it, even if it's not obvious at the moment. So as you can see, I'm working around the card stock at the moment and just bringing them in where I think they're needed. So now I've decided to use Hydrangea Heaven and the tiny little blossom stamp there. So it comes in two parts, the outline for which I'm going to use the Misty Moonlight. And I'm just again filling in where I think I need to fill in a space here. So I'm just working around the design again and filling in with Balmy Blue and that second stamp, which fits beautifully into that original stamp. This does give you a kind of watercolour effect, so you don't have to be exact with where that fill-in stamp is actually positioned. So now I'm coming in with Smoky Slate again, and then I'm taking two leaves, which is the same leaf, but in mirror image. This is quite useful to be able to use them together to create um, a fuller look. So here I come with just starting at the top there, and again, I'm just going to stamp around the design to create the sort of shape that I'm aiming for. So I'm looking to see where there's a gap. And when you're doing this, you can always stamp over. From Eden's Garden, I'm taking one of the smaller stamps now. I'm using the, um, I forgot what that was called, Basic Grey, sorry. And again, I'm stamping here, filling in the gaps, building up that shape to create. I'm going to create two card bases with this. And so I'm just trying to get my sort of art shapes. With Forever Fern, I'm bringing back uh, uh, the Smoky Slate and that multi-leafed bow again to bring the arch sort of archway round to each side now. So looking at it now, I need some smaller leaves. So I brought back Hydrangea Heaven, 
basic grey and the outline stamp for this leaf. And I'm just going to again fill in where the gaps need, fill in the gaps where it's needed and to define this arch shape on either side. Coming in with the filler shape and the filler stamp and the smoky slate and just filling in there. Again, you can see it's quite a soft palette and that's what I wanted for this look. So kind of wintry in a way. And now I'm just going to finish off those leaves. And I'm feeling at this point we do need some more colour. So I'm going to bring in Misty Moonlight again and the Very Versailles stamp set. Now I love this um, sort of vine leaf look. And I'm stamping off here a couple of times to find um, a lighter shade of the Misty Moonlight. I don't want this particular stamp to be really obvious, but I needed something faint in the background. So just filling in here where I think it needs. Now I'm bringing back Eden's Garden and the main um, cluster there because I feel I just need some more colour in a couple of places. So I'm stamping um, down here and again I'm going to move it diagonally and then place another one in the same sort of direction over there. And now this is more pleasing to me. So I'm coming in again with those lovely vine leaves and I'm going to finish off around the edge on this right hand side. I'm finishing off with the little dots and the basic grey. I'm just going to come in and it kind of brings things together when you place these little dots um, over your work. They can go on top of the leaves, um, filling in any little gaps. Um, but I still want to leave some white space here. White space is important to show the stamping. So there we are. And I'm just finishing off with this last texture stamp from Tasteful Touches. And I'm using the Misty Moonlight again. And just stamping here and there, just to bring in another texture. And that's my sheet finished. I'm now going to cut it down to size. Um, I'm going to mount it on um, a Knight of Navy mat. Um, so that's the one I'm going to put away for another card. And now I'm just trying to decide what size to make this. And um, I think I end up with something like five inches by seven and a half. Um, but really you just make the mat that fits the card you, you want to make. So I'm just putting the um, tear and tape on the back there. Here's my frame and I've gutted a piece of cardstock that measured about um, half an inch bigger than the, than the um, stamped image so that when you put the two together, you end up with a frame around the outside of about a quarter of an inch. I normally make it about an eighth of an inch, but for this particular one, I thought it needed more of a border to make that um, white space pop. So I'm putting this onto the front of an A5 card, which measures eight and a quarter by five and three quarters. And I've decided I'm going to use my Tombow glue here to stick this down and just very quickly going around the edge there and a little bit in the middle to make sure it doesn't come away and then just placing it so that I do have the quarter of an inch border showing all the way around. Now I've decided that this needs something a bit extra so from the Eden's Garden stamp set I've decided to use the border die along here and then I'm going to use the banner one as well. So let's just get these cut. I'm using the Knight of Navy to match my mat and I'm just going to use a piece of um, post-it note tape here to secure it to the cardstock so it doesn't move when it runs through the um, cut and emboss machine. Just taking the little bits out there with my thumbnails over the top. I'm placing the die back on 
and I'm lining it up at the end there so that I can make it continuous. So just popping that on the end there and bringing back in that post-it note tape to secure it and running it through my machine again. There will be a little line where it joins, but it really, it won't show. Nobody will notice that. So bringing that out now and I'm then going to decide where to place it. As you can see, it doesn't take long to get the little bits out. So it's going to go along the edge there. And I'm just measuring it down and I'm going to cut off that little bit at the bottom, which is a little bit too long. So that comes off there. So as you can see, it's now one continuous strip. Because these don't cut off at the ends, these dies, you can make it as long as you like. So just securing that down with some Tombow glue again. I'm just putting little bits on these smaller bits and putting that in so that it's about a quarter of an inch away from the edge there. Now I'm going to take the other die and again using a piece of Knight and Navy, I'm going to run it through my cut and emboss machine and I'm taking now um, one of the dies from the painted labels dies. I really, I really love this one. It's so versatile. And then I'm deciding that this needs some more white on it. So I'm finding the tasteful label dies and I'm going to use the um, circle die here, which is really, really beautiful. I've taken out the banner die as well for my sentiment. So I'm going to cut these from basic white cardstock. And again, I'm going to pop those through my stamp emboss machine. I'm trying to find a, um, a piece of cardstock, but I'm not going to waste too much. And here we are, all cut out now. So I'm going to pop that one on with some Tombow glue again. And I'm much happier with that. And that fits on there nicely. So I'm now going to stamp this with the Special Moments stamp set, which is free from our Celebration catalogue at the moment. And I've chosen Knight of Navy to match my cardstock and the Best Wishes stamp. And I'm just going to stamp that down there. And that's my greeting done. So I'm going to mount the one on top of the banner fits beautifully and then placing that in the centre of my card and I've decided to use dimensionals to make this one stand out from the card a little and I'm going to place that across the centre and this gives it some nice dimension a little bit of interest so you can see if I hold the card up you'll be able to see that that greeting does stand away from the card quite nicely and gives us a little bit of height there. I hope you've enjoyed today's project. If you'd like to purchase any Stamping Up products, I'll put a link to the catalogues, the digital catalogues in the description box below. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.